Hello dear friends, I am Dr. Masum Raza from Department of Library Information Science, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. So, today we will be discussing uh, RLF, abbreviated form of RLF, elaboration is Raja Ramon Roy Library Foundation. Uh, first, you should be aware why this foundation was uh, initiated or why this foundation was uh, started and when it was started. So, let me tell you very briefly, uh, in way back in 1972 when India was celebrating its uh, Silver Jubilee independence, uh, Silver Jubilee of independence. Uh, that time uh, Raja Ramon Roy, a famous educationist and a famous social reformer, uh, it was thought that uh, he was really after uh, education. So, why not to have a foundation which can work on the forefronts of this and which will ultimately help in the development of a nation. So, way back in 1972, May 1972, this RLF Raja Ramon Roy Library Foundation was established. And uh, let me tell you, this is uh, an autonomous, purely autonomous, fully funded by the Ministry of Culture organization. This is an autonomous organization fully funded by the Ministry of Culture. And uh, the role is, basically the job of this foundation is to work for the development of public libraries. And uh, means uh, the government is fully funding it, so the complete control is over the Ministry of Culture and uh, they have appointed about uh, 22 people, they nominate normally 22 people and the 22 people belonging to different uh, area, it can be a good educationist, good library professionals, good scientists, those who can, who are dedicated uh, for the development of education front. So, 22 people are nominated by the government and they work for the development of this foundation they decide on the activities, plan of action, what should be what should be done, how to prosper, how to take education forward. So, on all these areas, minister of the department, um, either he has to be the chairman or he can nominate anyone who can be the chairman of the foundation. And a director general, director general is a, uh, basically uh, the secretary or ex officio member and member secretary of the foundation. And this is uh, something about the RLF. Now, coming to uh, this Raja Ramon Roy Library Foundation, what exactly it is doing? You just uh, try to just uh, see the objectives of uh, uh, this foundation. Basically, the objective of the foundation was first, it should work for the promotion of public libraries. It has to work for the promotion of public libraries. They have to initiate the policies which will ultimately help in the development of a library system, better library, public library system in the country. So, the job of the first and foremost job of Raja Ramon Roy Foundation, Library Foundation, is to come out with the policies, initiate the policies, have discussion, deliberation, meeting with all those, uh, all the members of your uh, foundation, and uh, other educationists in and around uh, within the country and outside the country, and try to develop a policy, comprehensive policy, which can lead to the development of a better library, public library system. Number two. This foundation is going to assist all the public libraries financially as well as technically. Financially and technically means public libraries they are in a very poor state. Uh, because I told you the education uh, is, is a state subject and just because it is a state subject, the state they are, um, some of the states they are very much concerned about the education, whereas some of the states they are least concerned about the education. When they are least concerned about the education and they give less emphasis to public libraries, because public library is something, uh, means we call it as a people's university, which 
which where most of the students those who are not regular students or those who cannot afford to take admission either in schools colleges and universities they try to complete their education with the help of public libraries so we call public libraries as a people's university and if you strengthen your public libraries the condition of uh, your education the quality of your education is going to be good otherwise uh, we will be always uh, lagging and uh, once we are lagging in education we cannot uh, prosper we cannot develop the country any nation cannot develop so with this idea it was thought that this foundation there should be something uh, this foundation will assist all the public libraries financially as well as technically means whatever financial support they require and whatever technical support they require it will be provided by the uh, rlf third most important is this rlf will also support any regional organization or it can be a national organization which is working for the development of libraries any organization any institution any agency which is working for the development of public libraries at least the rlf is going to assess them means it is also supporting those uh, it can be centers it can be agencies it can be a regional agency or it can be a national agency or any organization which works for the development of public libraries this rlf is going to support them number 4 what is for important is this rlf uh, will be supporting especially the researchers in the library in the field of public library uh, especially researchers in the field of public libraries so any researchers going on in in the field of public library system uh, the rlf will be ready to fund those researchers also and uh, last uh, but not the least the most important part of this foundation is they have to convince the people convince the state governments convince uh, state authorities so that uh, the library legislation one more component important component was to promote the uh, the uh, formulation of uh, library legislation in different states and uh, after that it sh there should be proper promulgation also it means once should enact it get it passed through the legislative bodies and it should be properly uh, promulgated also so that is a major role of foundation till date they have been uh, successful in uh, in uh, about 20 states they have convinced uh, 20 state governments uh, means although it was established in 72 before that also some of the public uh, this uh, state public library legislation acts were uh, enacted uh, like tamil nadu and andhra Karnataka. there were so many other states they already started with this but after 72 this job was taken up by the rlf and this rlf is supposed to uh, get to the requirement uh, of the state and what the state can do is they can take the help of rlf and uh, they can study uh, those library legislation different library legislation acts enacted uh, by different states till date i told you 20 states they have enacted those library legislation acts they have got it passed through the their uh, legislative bodies and they have been uh, promulgated within the state and once the library legislation acts are uh, uh, promulgated in the state so the concern of public libraries almost uh, taken care means uh, they give proper share to to, to the development of uh, public libraries means otherwise what is happening is most of the states they don't give proper share to the public libraries if you don't give them proper share to the public libraries uh, so ultimately what will happen is it will be in a very bad shape the collection will be very poor services will be very very poor you will not be able to get the trained staff so once the trained staff is not there proper building is not there proper collection is not there proper services are not there nobody is going to visit and uh, once you find most of the states you will find uh, most of the states you will find they are in very dilapidated state and um, sometimes you do, don't have basic amenities also you don't have newspaper you don't have drinking water sometimes you don't have photocopier so um, this this is something um, which um, doesn't convince a user to come to the public library if they are not getting the uh, the documents of their choice if they are not getting the collection of their choice not getting the basic facilities also so this is something which um, hampers their uh, education in gaining the education and ultimately they remain out of this public library system so the idea was that at least if you promote public libraries to automatically your education in different states and uh, overall within your country will be on a higher side 
So, with this move, uh, this RLF was established and with this objective, it is going on, it is still going on. So, let us come to, now we know the inception, it was, uh, uh, it was started way back, it was uh, um, conceived in 1972 and after that, it has started with these activities. Then now coming to this, what they do exactly. So, they have these objectives and they have to take care of the state. Uh, we have the, the ultimately there is this this is a national organization national foundation they have to uh, be in touch uh, especially when the planning is concerned they have to be in touch with the state public library committees so state planning committees state public library planning committees are there state planning committees are there so at least they talk to them and once the state agrees that okay even we are interested even the state government, they are interested in developing public library system. Then there is a provision that library foundation, RLF, will give them either a matching or a non-matching grant. Matching and non-matching grant means, uh, just I will um, give you a brief idea. If this, just suppose the state is well off and uh, uh, there is no dearth that is well off and uh, they are developed state, considered as a developed state. In that case, 50, 50 uh, is to 50 means 50, whatever the 50 percent the state will contribute, the similar amount matching grant will be contributed by the RLF. So, that way that amount in total, in total that amount can be used for the development of public libraries. So, and if the state is not well off, it is not a developed, considered as a one of the developed state. So, in that case, it can be 60, 40, means 40 the state government will give and the 60 the RLF can give. And the, in the same way, uh, northeastern states also they cannot be um, avoided. The government has taken a special care of the northeastern states. Northeastern states, when I say you know about the seven sister uh, states. So, what uh, uh, means provision has been given to them, a special provision has been given to them that is 90 is to 10. Means even if the state government they are ready to spend 10 percent on the public libraries, in that case 90 percent matching grant is given by the RLF. So, this is something uh, interesting scenario. If the state government, they are ready to spend even 50 percent, just imagine it. If they are ready to spend 50 percent, 50 percent matching grant is given by the, uh, this RLF and uh, you can uh, really state if they need, if they want it, they can take help of this foundation and they can do wonders. So, this is one uh, incentive given to all the state governments because ultimately being a national body, national foundation, organization of national importance, it is important that they should take care of all these states and uh, they have a proper uh, state planning committees. They are in touch with the state planning committees, what they are doing for the public libraries. They keep track of uh, this foundation. They are keeping track of all the states. What is the condition with the li library legislation? Have you enacted? Have you got it passed through legislative bodies? Have you promulgated it or not? So, all these things are taken care by the uh, RLF. I told you the chairman is straight away the minister. Uh, is a chairman or is his nominee can be the chairman of the foundation and uh, director general is a ex officio uh, member and a member secretary of the foundation. So, he, he is supposed to be in touch with all the state planning committees, state planning committees and then he has to see how much development is going on in case of, especially in the case of public libraries. If they are not doing it well and good, what how much grant should be given to them, matching grant or non-matching grant can be given to them so that it can move on. And if it is not doing it, the, the job of RLF is to convince them, convince them that this, this uh, project should be taken up, public library should be taken on priority and the development of public libraries, you start with this, uh, you just uh, participate in this project, whatever you will be spending it, we will be spending more than that and uh, ultimately it will be development of your state and uh, overall it will be development of the nation. So, this is what the RLF is doing it. Then again, the what kind of, um, uh, how it is actually helping public libraries. RLF has taken, uh, so taken up so many activities for the development of public libraries. I will tell you just list uh, all those activities. RLF even has taken care of the collection also. So, if your public library, just suppose the public library collection is not good, nobody is going to come. And when nobody is going to come, you are not uh, becoming, ultimately the public libraries, they are expected to become a sinosaur of uh, the society. Uh, whether we are talking about a village library, we are talking about a taluka library or we are talking about a district library or we are talking about a state center library, it is basically the center of attraction. The people, those who cannot get a space anywhere, those who do not have access to academic library, those who do not have access to a special libraries, those who do not have access to national library, at least they come to the public libraries. So, if you have a proper public library at different places, different places within a city, within district, 
or within a village, within uh, talukas. So at least the students or uh, anybody, um, any professional can go to the public library and uh, they can uh, read as much uh, as they want. So what the, what the basic, basic uh, objective is, if you don't have a good collection, so RLF is going to help you out. You just seek assistance from RLF, RLF will help you in developing a good collection. Fund is, fund is available, so in that case you can seek assistance from RLF. Number two, just suppose uh, uh, you must be aware of public libraries, they have one more activity that is called mobile library service. Mobile library service is where, means, means in villages normally, it is not possible to open a public branch or public library. So in that case, what the, what the public library can do is, they can have a, a mobile van and they can, within the van, they can just uh, keep some collection, maybe 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, depending upon the capacity of the van, they can keep some collection and then move to the rural areas. And when they move to the rural areas and ultimately the people even if they go to some village or a remote village, the, even the people they are, they are supposed to convince the people also that this is a public library, we are supposed to, we, are, we have a proper timing, we will be coming on these, these days, you come to the mobile van and we will provide you all the services and this is totally free, we are not going to charge anything for the, any kind of service. So normally what happens is mobile van service is, is supposed, just suppose in some state, if mobile van service mobile library services to be provided. So in that case, in that case um, uh, the clients normally means uh, the public libraries they can directly contact the RLF and the RLF will be supporting them financially and technically also in providing the mobile library service to different rural areas or even remote areas. Here all the, means they can seek assistance uh, for this uh, purpose also. Number three, just suppose uh, a, a library in a public, especially a public library uh, they don't have enough fund to get aut to automate their libraries or to computerize their library or to purchase any equipment any equipment for which with the help of which they can provide better services so in that case also they can approach uh, foundation and the foundation uh, will be ready to assist them uh, either with the process of computerization or with the process of automation or with the purchase of any any gadget which will ultimately assist in providing better services to the users. So even this service is also, um, this service is also available at the, with the foundation that any public library approaching them will be given due assistance, uh, will be given due assistance uh, for promoting uh, the activity. Number four, uh, RLF also supports various workshops, various conferences, various training programs. If the public libraries just suppose they are interested in organizing some uh, training programs, organizing some workshops, organizing some events, in that case they can approach to RLF and RLF will give a proper matching grant uh, to the public libraries and the public libraries can make use of it and then they can organize the conferences, organize workshops, organize uh, any kind of activity which will benefit their clients or which will be benefiting uh, the library professionals. So uh, these are, this is also one of the activity which RLF is taking up. And developing one more activity, the next activity is developing a rural uh, book bank or rural book service, uh, rural library book service uh, even uh, this is also sometimes uh, very important in case of RLF. Normally the libraries which are in a very rural area and uh, there is no access possible there is no access possible, so in that case what they do is they develop, they try to uh, manage with uh, some collection and that collection is housed the, uh, in a, that particular rural area. So even the people, those belonging to that area, they can make use of that collection. So ultimately the public libraries, they have to approach RLF for any kind of assistance, technical assistance or it can be a financial assistance, whether they want to have a rural library service or they want to have a mobile library service or they want to go for automation they want to have a computerization or they want um, any service, uh, whether it, it is related with the development of collection or related with the updation of collection, they want to update their collection, in that case also they can seek assistance from RLF. So all these things are managed by RLF. And then the last most important activity uh, of the RLF is, I told you that they have to concentrate, they have to consider one activity that is whether the library legislation is convince the states, get the library legislation uh, acts enacted in every state, get it promulgated. So their initiative has done a lot, uh, about 20 states they have already enacted 
uh, total right now, we are total to 20 states they have enacted, promulgated and the library legislation act is in, in uh, place now. And once the library legislation act is in place, so library professionals are taken care of, library is taken care of, they know how, from where the uh, money is going to come for the development of public libraries, means there is a proper provision in the library legislation and there is a proper provision in the library legislation means they know from where which taxes this library, public libraries will be maintained. So either through taxes or through some surcharges, the money is collected by the state governments and this, that money is spent for the development of public libraries. And developing a public library is more important as I told you it is the public libraries, they are the backbone of uh, the development, educational development. You just see the ramification, I will just let you know the ramification of public library. The public library is not what you find only in the central state libraries. Every state, within a state you will find either one or two state central libraries will be there and within, under that state central library you will find the branches of district libraries. Just, I uh, will give you one example of UP. Uttar Pradesh has a state central library, one in Lucknow and one in Allahabad the, because the state is quite big. So, it has got two state central libraries and uh, within this, the state central libraries we have branches of district libraries. So, you just imagine Uttar Pradesh is having 70 districts, so 70 district libraries they are supposed to, they are under the state central libraries. So, the 70 district libraries have to be developed. It is not only the two libraries, one Lucknow and Allahabad is not the only two libraries, but ultimately the 70 district libraries even they have to be properly developed and uh, that it will be taken care by the state central libraries. So, the branches means within the, uh, after that state central library you have the ramification of district libraries and within district you will find you have various blocks, you have various talukas. So, you come down to the block, at the block level also you need a public library. Then at the talukas level also you need a public library. So, you just imagine for every district you have blocks, you have talukas, then you have villages. So, uh, the structure is quite robust. If you see, means uh, every state will have a state central library and under state central library you have district libraries and under district libraries you have block libraries, you have taluka libraries and you have village libraries and then finally, where you public libraries access is not possible, there we have a mobile library service. So, with this robust structure, if every state plans to provide this robust structure to their people, to their citizen, to their uh, state citizen. So, in that case, just imagine the scenario of the nation where just suppose we have 30 states and 30 states working in this manner uh, that if we are able to strengthen our this robust structure of public libraries, then there will be no dearth and you cannot stop nation in growing. So, with this idea, so means every state is still we have 10 more states to go and the 10 to 12 states they have still um, those either they have been newly formed or RLF is in already in process, they are talking to these uh, states and probably sooner or later they will even, they will uh, be, uh, they, they will agree to it that a library legislation, need of library legislation is, what is the need of library legislation as and uh, uh, this is how that uh, as early as possible they should get it enacted. So, many models are available. Now, when 20 states have enacted this Library Legislation Act, so you have so different models. So, you can see how the Tamil Nadu has done, how the Andhra Pradesh has done and how other states have done. Accordingly, you develop a, a, a public library model act for yourself and then get it passed through your legislative bodies and then just promulgate it. So, that will solve most of your problems because the government, they do not have to cut their budget, but they know how to uh, through the taxes which from uh, taxes or the surcharges, how they are going to collect the money and that money has to be utilized for the development of public libraries. Then only the public libraries will be strengthened and if you do not strengthen the public libraries, there is no education, no forwarding of education is possible, no growth of nation is possible. So, this is something very important in case of public libraries. So, this all this thing is taken care by the RLF and this Raja Ramon Library Foundation, one interesting thing about Raja Ramon Library Foundation is that it, it, it is supposed it is uh, supposed to help them technically also means it will uh, sometimes uh, on an, on its own it will assist uh, for the development just suppose some uh, new software is there or automation process is there so they support various um, uh, libraries or organizations those who are taking up this uh, project of training people 
just suppose you you want to train your manpower so you just seek assistance whether it is a conference or it's a workshop you seek assistance from rlf and rlf is ready to uh, support you financially to train people means so you try to train people if they are related to uh, public libraries well and good if even if they are not related to public libraries but a library professional has to be trained so the training is uh, the important area which they are focusing on there should be proper development of collection in public libraries there should be proper legislation there should be proper public library system ultimately the rlf is working uh, with a sole motive that we should have a sound public library system within a country and once we have a sound public library system in the country education will be accessible it means non formal education i'm not talking about the formal education because public library caters caters to the non formal uh, kind of education it means Uh, anybody who is either uh, learning through distance mode trying to study through distance mode or maybe just suppose if, if i'm not interested in uh, earning any degree i'm just uh, simply interested in gaining knowledge so uh, there is a one place that is public libraries maybe other libraries will not allow unless you take the membership but in case of public library you take the membership it is free of cost they are not going to charge anything from anyone there is no distinction of caste color creed and sex so with this openness they are ready to um, entertain all the kinds of user there is no distinction of caste color creed and age anybody even some uh, we talk about a children also children anybody um, uh, children of 5 years you have a children section in public library and they are uh, entertained very well in public libraries in most of the public libraries uh, especially in the states those who are well off i told you the states which are well off they have a good public library system you will find them special section for the old people a special section for the newspaper a special section for the children section they have a proper reprography proper facilities are there proper collection is there and a public library is supposed to uh, cater to the requirement of a society and the society consists of uh, uh, a very heterogeneous kind of uh, population you have lawyers you have housewife you have students you have researchers you have um, pro- people belonging to farmers you have people belonging to different profession so you have to have something for everyone and uh, that is only possible when the, somebody is there to strengthen them so the state government should take the first initiative and after that rlf is backing them with all their support means financially and technically rlf rlf is with them whether they have to develop their new collection develop a new library and uh, even uh, uh, rlf also is uh, taking up one more activity uh, that is sometimes a new just suppose a state is state is planning state is planning to state is planning uh, just just suppose the state is planning to uh, develop a building for a um, public library in that case they can seek support from the rlf and the rlf will help them help them in developing the library building also so just i'll conclude it you can see the um, rlf is doing a marathon job falls under the ministry of culture and it is fully funded by the ministry of culture so in that case what is their job sole motive is to develop a public library system well very strong robust public library system devel- have a proper policy for the public libraries promote uh, library legislation uh, across the country and help all the public libraries financially and technically and uh, for any kind of assistance r- right from uh, the developing a building developing collection having mobile library service or uh, maybe computerization of libraries or it can be uh, any uh, developing or buying any gadget for uh, any public service that is even for organizing conferences and workshops these are all the things all the financial support is provided by the rlf raja raman rural library foundation so uh, is doing a really a marathon job and one should understand and uh, really appreciate the efforts of rlf thank you very much